On Saturday, February 9th, the Terriers welcome the Crusaders to Walter Brown Arena for the season finale of the Turnpike Trophy Series. In the second, Sammy Davis took a tripping penalty that set up the first goal of the afternoon, a rebound score for Carly Major to give Holy Cross a 1-0 lead. Almost three minutes later, the Terriers woke up offensively as they scored three goals in a 1 minute and 18 second stretch, first from Courtney Correa, followed soon after by Christina Schuler, and then again Correa. There's a setup in the middle and a goal put in for BU. The answer is going to come from Courtney Correa. Allen. Puck bounces off the board below. Rebound. A second effort. This time it's Christina Schuler. Just moments later. And BU has grabbed all the momentum and they take a 2 1 lead. Connor Galway gets it out to Donnelly. Another chance in front. And a third goal for BU. It's Courtney Correa again. The Terriers with an offensive onslaught. And Correa's second goal of the period makes it 3-1 BU. With 119 left in the second, Christina Schuler added to the BU lead as she scored her second goal of the period to make it 4-1. That one knocked in. Off a rebound, I believe it was Christina Schuler again. In the third, Sammy Davis got in on the scoring action, adding a fifth goal for the Terriers. A sweep of Holy Cross here in the first year as Hockey East opponents. Davis, five hole, Sammy Davis, fifth goal of the game for BU. They continue to pour it on. Their first goal of the third period for Davis, her 20th goal of the season. After a couple of BU penalties that Holy Cross was unable to capitalize on, the Terriers put the exclamation point on as Jesse Comfer added an empty netter. Who's now eligible to come out of the box literally as soon as it ends. And there's an empty net goal. Jesse Comfer from center ice. Sammy Davis added a seventh goal with just 44 seconds left as BU capped a dominant win. Davis, her second goal. Sammy Davis lights the lamp again and BU has matched their 7-1 output for the first time these two teams met in this building. And Sammy Davis is the third, crew, or third Terrier rather with two goals this afternoon. The Terriers are next in action for the Beanpot Final Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. at Harvard. They return home next Saturday, the 16th, to host UNH at 3 p.m. Coach, a big 7-1 victory here today at home between the Beanpot games. What do you guys think led to all the success today? Well, uh, unfortunately, it was one nothing on the wrong side in the middle of the game, and uh, that got me a little bit nervous because you don't want to keep it too close too late. But I think the fact that they played the game right, they didn't go out there and uh, you know, try to play a wide open game. You know, the first period we did a nice job, drew some penalties, got some shots on net, but uh, we didn't score one. And, and you can't control all that. But if you play honest defense, if you, you know, aren't running around all over the place, nobody's taking long shifts. I think that added up to the point where we had that uh, probably two minute period where we score three goals and the whole game changed right there. Now, Tuesday, obviously the Beanpot final at Harvard. Then after that, just a couple weeks left of women hockey's play. What do you guys want to do to solidify your, your standing at the top of the standings right now? I mean, the best we can, thing we can do for ourselves is just keep playing the way we're playing. Again, we're playing very tough hockey. We're playing, uh, you know, a no-nonsense brand. And I think that the, you know, the kids are doing the little things. We didn't kill penalties or have a great power player in the year, but now those are going well. Some of the, uh, the, the second wave of forwards are scoring goals. You know, Courtney Correa, Christina Schu with a couple goals today and you're going to have to have that behind uh, Sammy and uh, Jess Comfer and so if we can continue to do that uh, those are all good signs and uh, will help us going down the stretch here. All right coach good luck on Tuesday and the rest of the way this season thanks. Thank you. Big offensive output from you guys today seven goals what do you think led to all the successful shots and goals on, on the ice today? Um, this week you know we've definitely been working really hard on the ice and off the ice so I think that uh, that definitely contributed to our success today. Bean Pot Vinyl coming up on Tuesday. You guys are going back over to Harvard this time to play against Harvard. What do you guys got to do to get the win and get the Bean Pot back here at BU? Um, you know what? I think just keep doing what we've been doing. You know, we've been we've been pulling off some big wins. So I think just keeping up our momentum and keep staying strong. 
finally, last couple weeks of the season after that with women's hockey East play, what do you guys want to do to stay atop the standings and make sure you're hosting one of the first round playoff series? Um, I think, once again, just keep doing what we're doing, you know, keep practicing hard, keep uh, training hard off the ice, and, uh, you know, coaches do a great job of uh, making sure we're working hard, so I think just keep doing that. All right, Courtney, good job today with two goals and the win. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.